Hi, Neil Hansen here from Fitness Works. Last week I did a video blog on the upsides and downsides of staying where you are, as well as uh, accomplishing your goal. And you might have done that exercise and found there are some benefits to you staying where you are. Whether it's the, uh, the upsides of staying where you are outweigh the downsides of getting to your goal, or the downsides of staying where you are um, uh, don't outweigh the upsides of getting where you want to go. So, the uh, the goal here now is to take that one step further and figure out um, why you choose to uh, stay doing the things that uh, you know are potentially harmful to you. The reason is that there's a payoff. Just as there's a payoff getting to the goal, and we've talked about that in recent uh, recent posts. What's the true payoff for you getting where you want to go? What would uh, what what's the purpose of you getting where you want to go? What would that provide for you in your life that you don't have already? and becoming inspired by that. Sometimes that's not enough because where you are may seem to have a bigger payoff. And, uh, and when you find the deep payoff for that, you might see some parallels between um, the thing that you're trying to avoid doing that you don't like, um, but you keep doing anyway. Um, and the thing that you want, your goal. When you can draw parallels between where you are and the, and the things that are giving you benefit now, you can see there's a parallel to the thing that you want. There's really no risk of getting rid of the thing that you have here in this current state that's keeping you where you are, the benefit of staying where you are, um, because you always choose the better option. So let's go over this as an example. Let's say uh, you don't want to give up sugar. Um, it's something where well, you'd like to give up sugar, but it's a benefit that you're not willing to, to part with. So you want to ask yourself, uh, uh, imagine um, there's there's a little person, a little part of you uh, sitting in front of you. That's the part that really likes sugar. It's the part that chooses to have sugar, and it's, it's like the little devil on their shoulder. And I want you to ask that part of you what the, what the purpose of, of having sugar is. You might say... Um, it uh, allows me to uh, feel satisfied. What's the purpose of feeling satisfied? Uh, I get to feel good. What's the purpose of feeling good? I get to feel calm. What's the purpose of feeling calm? The point is you keep asking this uh, line of questioning until you get to an answer that there's, there's nowhere else to go. Uh, let's say it's for a um, beyond feeling good, feeling calm. Um, it's allowing you to be relaxed. What's the point of, what's the purpose of being relaxed? That you get to interact with uh, people on a really good level. What's the purpose of uh, interacting with people on a really good level. It's to uh, to act in love and kindness. What's the purpose of acting in love and kindness? It's you know to be um, truly who you were meant to be. Now, if you can find uh, a really positive answer there, and then you want to go back and ask yourself, what's the purpose of um, staying away from sugar? Or you could take it as far as you know getting to your goal. If you were to stay away from sugar, and that's the one thing you think that's keeping you away from your goal, um, what would getting to your goal provide for you that you don't have now? Or what would staying, you could go as simple as would staying away from sugar provide for you now? What you will find is that the answers are about the same. They should be the same uh, across the board. So when you present those two things and take a moment to, to kind of almost let, imagine you've got the devil on one side and the, the, the angel on the other, and let them two talk to each other and see that they both had strategies to accomplish the exact same thing. And given your brain the opportunity to choose the wiser and better one for you, it always will. So you know that you're, if you were to give up sugar, um, that you would still be getting the benefit of um, the, the, whatever the deep emotional payoff was uh, for the negative through the positive. So um, there's a, another tip for you to help you uh, break through any roadblocks that may be holding you back from changing the body that, uh, that you desire. Cheers. Good luck.